Hello everyone, we are so excited. We are going on our very first cruise on Royal Caribbean's brand new Utopia of the Seas, and we're taking you with us. We're gonna try as much food as we can. This is just day one, guys, so hold on to your seats. We're gonna dig in. We got so much to show you. We're very, very excited. Let's do this. Can you believe this? I know, look at it, we're here. When you get on this ship, it is wild. You walk in and it's just enormous. We were completely overwhelmed at first, but our first task we knew was that we needed to go and make our specialty dining reservations. We were told there would be kiosks on that first fifth floor level. However, there were not. And once we were on board, they said we need to go up to the eighth level and go to some of the specialty restaurants and you make your reservations there. You can make all the reservations, at one location so it doesn't matter you don't have to walk to each of the different restaurants and that's what we did worked out really well super duper easy okay we're here we're finally on the ship <sighs> i definitely felt i had a flick moment when we walked on this ship so it wouldn't be us if we didn't find a mezcal paloma so we're here at the trellis bar our first stop which i'm going to show you is we decided to do izumi in the park for our boarding lunch um what we got was included with our dining plan one time. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what all we got. Super excited for that. But Manny made his way over to Trellis Bar, which is just across the way. And we were able to get Illegal um, Mezcal Palomas. They're very tasty, very good. Not too sweet, done really well. I mean, why would they be sweet? But like, sometimes people mess them up. I know it's hard, it's impossible to mess up a Paloma, but they do. This is very good, it's a good sign. We're off to a really good start. Sushi and Palomas outside in Central Park on a boat in in the in the Atlantic. It's happening. It's really it's really happening. So first thing we got here was the pork gyoza. So what do we have? Five dumplings. Beautiful. I love the little sear on there. Very excited. And then we went with two of the rolls. We didn't do the sashimi. We did two rolls, which are very small. But, um, and the edamame, so we have a salmon lover's roll and a spicy tuna roll, um, some nice wasabi, some ginger, and again, the edamame. edamame. Yeah, I think this is a nice little variety, a little yeah. nibble, right? Yeah, We're trying sure. to sure. Well, taste I as mean, much and enjoy as much. It's perfect, perfect bite, perfect yes. size, because I want to taste a whole bunch of stuff, so I don't oh. want to overdo it on one thing. So this is the spicy tuna roll, right? Yep. Perfect little bite, little touch. Look at that, okay. I don't know if you can see the inside there. Mm. Wow, that is really good. That's a really good, I mean, it's a spicy tuna roll. Got everything you need in there. The wasabi is very bright. It's got a good, really good bite to it. I really enjoyed the wasabi. And the rice was cooked perfectly. Kind of a sushi sticky rice like you'd expect, but um, off to a great start. That was delicious. I'm going in on the pork gyoza first. Yeah, eat it while it's hot. I'll tell you what, they did a great job. Like, it took a while. They made everything fresh for us. Oh, I don't mind waiting for fresh. Like, that yeah. is awesome. It wasn't like, oh, here you go, handing it to me out of the window. Because they did yeah. have some in the window. But those are displayed. So that, I know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, she was like, oh, okay, the kitchen's going to make it. It'll be, it took probably about 10 minutes, you know. Not a problem. And, no, not at all. But they made two sushi rolls and our, our um, dumplings, so... Are they fried or steamed? They give Soft a good aid. crust on the bottom with that sear, and then they're steamed, I guess, because. All right, how are they? Very nice, very tasty, and, and the tender, like the skin or the the dumpling itself, is really yep. really nice. It's holding together really well, but it's not overly thick. It has like that really nice tender um, texture to it, but it holds the sauce well. And the pork is super tender. It's um, juicy, it's what you want. You get that little bit of the sear there too, so you get a little texture change. This is very tasty. And you get five of them. So this would have been wow. $8, and the sushi would have been 10. I don't know if I said it, but with our dining plan, we get to have it one time, um, 10 and 10. It's like our credit for Azumi in the park. So, one down, how many to go? It's really nice. So this is the salmon lover's roll. It's got some salmon. It looks like it has crab. Crab, um, top of salmon. I'm not sure. That's, that's not avocado. Might be an onion. But 
but nice. nonetheless, it looks really good. I wonder if it's a spicy mayo. Oh, oh. The spicy tuna is great. It's spicy tuna. Everywhere we go, I get spicy tuna because it's sort of like the. Well, that's one of our favorites. It's a benchmark, yeah. The salmon one has a lot more depth of flavor. You've got that mayo, like the spicy aioli or whatever we've got on top. The crab is really creamy and the salmon's really tasty. But there's like a little bit of a different mix of textures and flavors happening. So I would say the salmon is definitely more exciting. The other choices they had, I think, were they all sashimi? Am I They have some nigiri. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were doing the rolls because, you know, hey. Rolls seem to be, like, fun. That's and how... honestly, we didn't understand when we were ordering. Hey, that's how we roll. We didn't understand how it worked. Like, I, I didn't understand that. I thought we had $10 total. I mean, not that we wouldn't have spent 10 bucks on it, but, like, we don't have our C cards yet because we're not in our room. We're brand new. I mean, we like our bright green like i said we're in flick mode over here so when we ordered i was like i i just didn't fully understand what was happening right i didn't you know what what was confusing to me which i was pleasantly surprised is the sushi rolls it was ten dollars and you get to pick two rolls and you get a side of either edamame or seaweed uh seaweed salad yeah so for 10 bucks you get the box with the two yeah. rolls and the edamame so it wasn't just rolls, like you, like you said, we could have had sashimi. Yep. We could have mixed. Yeah. Sashimi, rolls, and nigiri. All of those, whichever combination. Those dumplings are heaven. This is they great. are. This, this is, is good. Great nibble. I'm Perfect. Happy you got a drink. We got to sit down. I got, I also must say this: the process of getting on board, parking, dropping our bags, um, getting up into the terminal, checking in, passports, security, getting on the picture, ship. Picture, getting our picture yeah. taken. Yeah, because I had forgotten to do our, our, our photos for the thing. Um, could not have been easier. It was like we were being funneled with people standing on either side saying, hi, now go here, now go here. And like, you're just like this. And they're telling you, and then boom, done. And then boom, done. Zero weight at any we even got here about a half an hour earlier than our check-in time. Not just boom, boom, boom all the way through. I don't know how it could have been easier. It couldn't have been, had they driven me, it would have been the only way. And honestly, the drive was nothing from Orlando, so. I don't know. I, didn't you agree? Yeah, super easy. I thought we were gonna be waiting in lines. I thought we were gonna have to sit out in that. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of expected a while. crowds. I expect a lot of crowds, because it's a big ship. A lot of people coming in at the same time, so. I kind of half expected lines and whatnot, so it was really nice to just kind of sort through and funnel directly through without any real major line. I think that was the thing I was most intimidated about was paperwork, this, the app, what, you know what I mean? I didn't want to get all the way over here and easy as pie. Couldn't have been easier. Now I can relax. It made the buzzy. Oh. Yo, so the thing we've been laughing about is if you don't know, we've been living full time in an RV for four years. This is like a grand suite for us. People are always talking about how small it is. Dude. Oh, of course we got the parking lot view. That's okay. Dude, this is huge. Annabelle's going to be like, I totally could have slept on that couch. <laughs> this is so big. Like, okay, I'm not even going to lie. I thought this in, on camera looks like 12 inches. It's like a solid 24. I mean, come on. Look at our closets. Yo, this is already way more than I have for my entire wardrobe. This is awesome. What? This is awesome. Is it? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, it's big. See, I told you we got like the knuckle or like the edge. One side would be wider. Oh, I do like it. Nice choice. Oh my God, I'm scared. Why are you scared? Well, because it's high up. Oh, my Lanta. I'm high in the sky. All right, so this is terrifying for me. <gasps> I cannot believe this thing is actually going to move. But look at our balcony. Like, look, this is like leg room. So much room for activities. <laughs> this is really great, right? Yep. 
Look at all this dresser space. What's down there? Is that a fridge? Uh, maybe. A little mini fridge? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Pretty it has nice. a continental or an American breakfast. Well, if you've got, you can pick and choose. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. We will definitely do this. I mean, just for the sake of like, it's really nice in the morning. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Maybe a muffin or a bagel or something. Oh, they have gluten-free toast. Look at that. Ooh. And then in the evening, I totally want to do room service. Like room service is just one of those things. Yeah, like back in your room, get a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Oh, you can get a Philly cheesesteak. Rigatoni bolognese. Grilled salmon. Quesadillas. Maggie would be happy. Pizza, wings, peanut butter and jelly. Dude, you can get a New York style cheesecake with berry compote in your room. You can get chocolate cake with caramel sauce in your room. Dude, Manny is making his way around. You are like, he is a busy beaver. <gasps> Look at how cute our room is. Do you love it? Yeah. So nice. excited. Solarium Bistro, which is kind of in the front of the ship or the port, no, starboard, no, port is left, starboard's right, bow and stern, bow, yes. in the bow, bow, bow. <laughs> so it's a buffet. What I like, you, you, you walk in, you wash your hands, everybody does it, so it's pretty awesome. And then they also serve a lot of it for you. Yes. Which is nice as well. Very. But I went with the, they have like a seafood bar area where you've got shrimp, mussels, clams as well, lobster, and some tuna tartare. That's what I went with. Uh, they were all, there was also a pasta, a pasta, looks like a custom pasta bar, almost like an omelet bar. Where yeah. you can make, they'll make the custom pasta for you and add different seafoods and whatnot. That looks really good, but probably really filling. So I don't think... Yeah, I didn't know how to ask, I like, do, do I say, like, oh, can I have just, like, a, a little teeny tiny version? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't want him to hand me, like, a giant bowl of pasta, no, like and then, yeah, you don't want to yep. be wasteful. That, that's, a, that's, I think, a challenge on a ship is to, like, I don't yep. be wasteful. And then they have a salad bar. Um, yeah, with that's where I went. As well as shrimp cocktail. And um, over there are a carving station with some beef options, Guinness beef stew, and a whole bunch of different soups. Okay, so we also went to outside at the solarium. There's a solarium bar, which again, we were able to get Illegal Mescal um, Palomas. Fantastic, really good. And I mean, they were tasty, very, very nice. But this looks great. I mean, we just really weren't even, we were just like, oh, let's pop in and yeah, grab a snack. Like, you know, that's what I like is, you don't have to have a whole meal. Yeah. You can literally come in and grab just a couple shrimp. Yep. Although they was very generous. I, was, I don't know if I would pick this lunch. I was like, I'll have some shrimp. He's all right. Yeah, he'd give you like half yeah, a dozen at a least, few, and they're big. I got a little tiny bit of salad, a shrimp cocktail, and some of that tuna tartare. I don't know what this is. It looks like a corn. It looks it, like a, a it, quiche. It almost looks like a quiche, but then it has this drizzle. I'm not sure. And it was with, it was literally paired over there between marinated mushrooms and olives. So it's kind of like, but, I don't know, it had a sauce on it, so I was like, yes, I will eat that. Let me try that. There you go. Let's try it out. How was the shrimp? Oh, really good. Yeah? yeah that one. It's very good, very firm, like, had a good chew to it, a good bounce. Like, you know, just the right amount. Not chewy, not squishy. It's just yeah. really good texture. That fresh pop. And full of shrimp flavor. I mean, it's a good, well done, well done. So these are, aren't better. these like a freshwater a lobster? Poached. poached. Freshwater lobster? I guess they... Isn't that a crawdad? Bubble well, you jumps? know what I mean? Like they're these smaller guys. Langoustine? But this one's poached. It's poached and looking good. Wow. 
That is really good. Tasty? Yep, tasty. I would like a little butter with it, like a like. Yeah. Mm, that would be perfect. With it. A little something with it, yeah. Very good. Yeah, the um, even on the salad bar, like there's no cheese, which was interesting. I like a little cheese. I mean, I, I, I found Parmesan. Parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's all I found was slightly Oh no, shaved. cheddar. No. Um, it was a very interesting salad bar as far as like what they had and what they didn't have that you're kind of used to. The only dressings they had were honey, mustard, Caesar, and ranch, which is fine. Over on the other side, there is a little balsamic vinegar and like malt vinegar that you could certainly use. But yeah, I was thinking that too, like, oh, I wish I would, I would like just like a, a bowl of lemons or, yeah. you know, Italian dressing or, you know, these types of things. So like a little butter, like sauces, I'm missing some sauces. Yeah. But, but, I mean, it, it, it's very good. Don't yeah, I mean, you can just keep Don't going up there and yeah. eating more and more and more. You can, like, spend your day sitting yep. here eating this lobster. Back and forth and lobster. <laughs> That's fantastic. So my, this little guy here is some sort of, like, little quiche. Wow. He does have a, um, like, balsamic vinegar glaze on him. The tartare is delicious. I think the tartare is my favorite so far. The mussels are good as well. They're all cold. It's all cold, which is fine. But you really get that earthy flavor of the mussels. They are very good. And they're big. My salad was delicious. It's a salad, right? I did like that they had on dive, you know, uh, lettuce up there, which really added a nice pepperiness, which was really nice. The shrimp was just okay. Like, it, like Manny shrimp, but he was talking about how good it was, how it had like that right texture. That sort of little bit of pop that, you know what I mean, that you want without being like, Top. Mine is mine almost feels like it's in a um have you ever like had a party and you put your shrimp on ice and there's something just sit and they end up floating in water for a while and they get some like a little texture to them? Mine has a little bit of that. Like it's almost like water law, if you will. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um but um I would say get it from the guy. Like yep. They were bigger by like twice the size bigger. And, and they just have like a better, fresher, more pop to them. But that being said, I love it in here. The space is really beautiful. I especially really like the solarium area. It's like being in a giant, wonderful greenhouse that has like a beachy fun theme to it without any sand. <laughs> Which I am like, yes, let's go. I'm all for it. Little pools and little places to kind of be all throughout. like. It feels like there's like they did a really good job of creating sort of like private nooks for people to hang out in. They really do. Nice. I'm having so much fun. We haven't even left this for the freaking tour. I know. Freaking tour. So much fun at the oh, Castaway Sail Away Party. Sail Away Party, then we went over to see the water, catch some dolphins, which Dude, we did. We saw so quite cool. a few dolphins. Like several little pods. Yep. I mean, there were pods of like three. Yeah. But still, they were adorable. Ooh. They were they so were really cute. Cool. We were really excited to see them. We were hoping to see some manatees, but we are not seasoned enough to know how to look for them. Yeah. Well, the Sail Away Party, though, too. like. Oh, that was a blast. That was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Like, I didn't think that I would yeah. enjoy it as much as I did. But those guys, those dancers, were so good and so fully committed to it. They just sucked you in. I mean, we ended up joining after. a conga line. Like, we, yep. we, were, we were living for the whole thing. Okay, so this is Sorrento's Pizza. Here we go. Yeah, eat up. Anyway, we were on the ship up there, and I overheated. I was like, oh, my God. And so I want to put a little something on my tummy. Yep. Cool and off this. a bit, and then we're in the AC in the uh, fifth level. Oh, I feel so much better. So apparently Sorrento's is open later than, like, just about anything. So this is kind of like, this is the place to be. Hey, how about it, man? I'll do everything. 
I mean, you know, it's walk up, grab. They had vegetarian. They had meat lovers, as other, aka carnivore, pepperoni and cheese, and they're just swing. They're just slinging pies over there. It's good. Yeah. I mean, it's like right in the right in the middle. I mean, not. It is perfectly serving the purpose I wanted to. I wish it was more sauce. Yeah. I'm not getting really any good sauce, but it has nice crisp. Folds relatively well. It's not too greasy. Cheese is good. Pepperoni is good. You know, it's pizza. It's not skating rink pizza, if you know. Which you know. can be good. Yeah, it can. Um, but it's not like, whoa, I need to like do the new pizza. Like, have you tried that pizza? pizza? No. You know what it is? This is like that pizza that would be really good at 2 a.m. Like, it's good. It has all of those qualities, but it's, it's, you can see there's not really any sauce. Yeah. I just wish I had more sauce. Or any sauce. Good evening, good evening. Starbucks and hand life is good. It's like the size of my face. You remember when coffees were this big? Oh, he's got the these people behind me. We need more now. You need more now. Let's have a big day. Big day ahead, big night ahead. Hit the road. Okay, so we came back to our room, got cleaned up a little bit. It was hot, I was very sweaty, so got changed. Sorry about my Starbucks straw. Okay, so now we are heading off to go see the Utopia Ice Show at seven. We have like five minutes and we don't know. Manny thinks he knows, so I'm trusting him. <laughs> midship. Uh, okay, fourth floor midship. Here we go. I'm really excited to see this. Good. That was fun. It definitely was way better than what I expected. They were very good, and it was it was like well done with such yeah. a small piece of ice. Which I mean, it's not that small, but you know, comparatively, they were doing really big jumps and great yeah. tricks, and the music was fun. The costumes were wonderful. Yeah, they changed I, a lot. They, they changed insane. a lot. <laughs> I liked it how they came out in the candy outfits. That was those outfits were amazing. Yeah, super duper creative. This, ro this boat is moving like back and forth. Like. Too bad. I'm thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it, but she moving. Like. It's good. This. But nonetheless, it was a really, really good show. I highly recommend doing it. It blew our oh, minds. It was yeah, really, it was really nice good. and chilly. Oh, it was so, so cool. So nice in cold there. I like. I like. A lot of people had brought blankets and jackets and stuff. I was very comfortable. Oh, I was super comfy. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It was refreshing. Now I feel like and now the sun's going down. Uh, Imagine what the sunset looks like. Whoa, I forgot about that. Anyway, so we are now going to head over and have dinner at 150 Park Place. Yep. Or is it Park Avenue? 
Not sure, but we're, we're heading over there for dinner. This is the first of our signature dining experiences, and we're very much looking forward to it. The menu looks great. Lots yep. of great stuff to try, and we are hungry and ready to go. Yep. So it's a beautiful table sit setting in here. Um, there is a wine list. It's pretty limited, but you do have a selection of sparkling and white, as well as rosé, red, and dessert wines by the glass. Uh, two reds, two desserts, four white and rosés, and one sparkling. But that's very nice. But the, the menu itself is really pretty. I like how it's how it's laid out. It's very pretty. <laughs> Parker House Rolls in a beautiful little like monkey bread cluster. So nice. Look. It reminds me of one of those little paper uh, puzzle things in middle school. <laughs> yeah. My mother says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Oh, I have been craving warm. some bread. I don't even normally, but. Mm. Oh, that truffle butter is so good. Isn't that good? Yeah. Thyme and lemon. Sure truffle you know. butter. The herbs, a little salt. Yep. But man. It reminds me of your turkey. <laughs> I just got like a burst of lemon from that last bite. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so good. Nice. It just has like a brightness and then all that butter and the truffle and these are absolutely delicious. If this is setting the tone for the night, I'm very excited I'm for this excited. dinner. <laughs> We're off to a good start, and we just got some more Pellegrino, mm -hmm. so that's coming. Mm -hmm. Really hits the spot. Got to stay hydrated, folks. Mm -hmm. So our lovely server went across the way to the trellis bar to get us some dirty Tito's martinis. They look delicious there. Here's to a beautiful so here, cruise together. To start. Here's the wonderful dinner. Yes. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yep. Delicious. Good, good. Seriously good. Mm. So I went with the honey scallops. They're really a beautiful color. Smells incredible. They are like bay scallops, like they're little scallops. Well, I think they're a little bit bigger than bay scallops. They are small. Yeah. And it's got some uh, honey chorizo or corn. Yeah. Chorizo and corn. Yeah, honey, 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 honey glaze, chorizo, corn. It looks fantastic. And then over here, look at you. Yep. Here. You got some now this is the uh, are topped with some onions. Can we give it a spin? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really uh, beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez, that looks amazing. I think she steered me right. I think she did. Look at that. Really nice presentation. Really beautiful. My goodness, let's try this out. All right, here we go with the scallops. Yeah. It smells so nice. good, too. Bit of everything in there. It's very good. It's not, um, the chitty so and such is a little overwhelming for these little scallops. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not getting a lot of I'm a scallop. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But that doesn't mean it's not good. It's very, very good. It's just more of a chorizo dish than a scallop dish because of in the chorizo, dominant it's flavor. Good. It's very flavorful. But yeah, it definitely dominates on the scallops for sure. Yeah. But it's, I was it's very looking good. at it. Tender and beautiful. Thinking, well, yeah, the scallops. Um, you're probably not going to get a lot of scallop flavor because they are kind of small, and that seems to be the case. So. 
but it's tasty. Very good. But yours definitely looks like a winner. All right. It's like butter. It just falls apart. Yeah, for real. Trying to dig in. Wow, that looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, this is very tender. Wow, that is very tender. Yeah? It's very soft. I, I don't think no. you'll like the texture. It's a kind of a, That bite was a High little fat bit content? gristly. Yeah, oh, okay. A little gristly texture on that. Was, yeah. Um, very good. Let me see if I can get a, another meaty bite. But. He was like, okay. I'm going to get a little bit more of this polenta, maybe. Try it. You don't seem excited. Well, well I'm, I'm surprised. It's interesting. I'm surprised it's a little... It fits on some flavors, but it's a little bit bland in areas. Hmm. It's interesting because it has a very um, dense looking sauce. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not blown away. Well, but, but it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's not fair. So this is my filet. I, I will say this, this is a huge filet. Wow. Yeah, really beautiful looking. The cook looks great. I have a Bernays sauce and a red wine reduction. A little bit of vegetables and whoop, a slippery slacker. <laughs> and it looks like a little, oh yeah, garlic potatoes. Very nice, very, very nice. Now we're talking. And then over here, lobster thermidor. So they take the lobster out of the shell, mm -hmm. cook it with garlic and parmesan, stuff it back in, drizzle it, and they heat it up in the cell amount. All right, here we go. So you have two sauces. Yeah. That's a win for you. Yes. I love it. And it looks, it looks really cooked. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Very tender. Medium rare. Nice medium rare. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have a, a bite of the meat. Okay. To start off with to see just how to it check. It has exactly the flavor you want. The sear has to have really great flavor that you're looking for, you know, that kind of brings a little smokiness, a little bit of seasoning on there. And then the meat itself is super tender. Just melts right right when you bite into it. And then you could have this with just your gums. <laughs> <laughs> you come here with your gums. With your gums. Just bring your gums. Yeah. You're set. But no, really tender, right? But if you have teeth, try. it's even better. Oh, it is. Mm. Red wine reduction, a little Bernays. Okay. The broccoli, some carrots. And then, uh, what did you say, it garlic mashed potatoes? Uh -huh. And this is a significant size to have. Yeah. This is not small. Like, I already ate a whole piece. I know. And I still have that. all of this. So. Yeah. Plenty to share. Yes, this so far, I'm going to say more like a four. Ooh, five. okay, okay. Yeah, really, really good. Um, great flavor. Not potato. And to me, a five is like very hard to come by. Yeah. Not that, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. So four is excellent. Four is very good. Great flavor, but they're a little dry. So that's oh, awesome. oh, okay. But, um, but the filet is perfect, and that's really what we're here for, right? I mean, we're not here for the potatoes, but it's, nope. it's, this is great. I'm so happy. Because nice. Because the appetizers were a little bit of a letdown. I feel like now we're back on track like we were with the bread and the cocktails. There we go. We're back in business. <laughs> All right, so yeah, gotta kind of just dig into the shell. Just kind of dig into the shell and pull the meat out. Look at that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that is a complex taste. That is very good. So 
Like she did say there's Parmesan cheese in there in a mix. Oh yeah. That adds quite an interesting profile to it. Yeah. With the lobster and the Parmesan. It's very, very good. Like, I, I really like that blend of flavors. Yeah. And it's really well done. A little bit of garlic in there, Parmesan and the lobster. And, and it's cooked perfectly. So it's not like too overcooked or chewy. It's so very well executed. That's Love awesome. those flavors. One of the greats. What's, what's interesting is it's cheesy, like a cheesy lobster. Okay, I'm all for that. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's not like a cheesy, like a mac and cheese lobster, but that's what it reminds me of, like a cheese covered lobster. Wow. Very good. Wow. The entrees were a win and a win. I really loved my filet. I did try the Bernays sauce from you was definitely the win. It was very, very good. Had a lot of good flavor, really creamy. It added, coated the filet really, really nicely. The um, red wine reduction sauce, it it just didn't have a lot of that red wine sauce that I was really, you know, that red wine flavor in it that I was expecting. It felt a little bland, but other than that, everything was very, very good. I think that it redeemed itself with the entrees for sure. Great, great night, really, really good food. I cannot believe we're still having dessert though, because I am so full, but it is all lovely. Our server has been fantastic. She went, got us um, some more martinis, which is always a nice thing, but it's been, it's been a really good time. I think that the filet, like I said, would be a four, a four out of five for sure. Really good. All right. Well, talk about victory from the jaws of defeat. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the entrees have totally redeemed this. That was really amazing. Um, as Gary said, that filet was four out of five. I had a bite of that. It was good. My lobster was amazing. And it's kind of what we look for when we go for the dining experience. It's like an interesting blend of flavors. So it had the mushrooms, Parmesan cheese, the lobster, kind of all blended and cooked and then put back in the shell and really great presentation wonderful complexity of flavors and uh very savory which kind of is really my butter zone if you will <laughs> yeah for real like the parmesan the mushroom the earthy and the lobster um is that surprisingly complementing each other and tasted very very good very good yeah. now we are going to have some dessert i can't believe it at least we're going to taste some and then we'll see yeah, what happens but um yeah i feel like this has been pretty good i'm really happy with it i don't think that this is a must do honestly i, I don't but but that doesn't mean it's a don't do it's just sort of like um if you really would like to have a great filet and you're not really looking to go to chops or you know you would like to have a really nice lobster thermidor but you're not necessarily getting over to hooked then come on over here to 150 uh central park uh, the ambiance is lovely it really is it's so comfortable I mean, it in makes... here the chairs are so comfortable it's really chill in here especially after all of the um like you know we went to that big party. yeah the big party then we went to the ice skating show like it's been like a lot of people um this is like very intimate and lovely yeah great date night situation absolutely i enjoyed it yeah for sure here comes the cheese cart here comes the cheese cart <laughs> cheese Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, so first here we have the artisan cheese selections. We have a Delis, the Bergoni. This is a rich and buttery with triple cream cheese. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Right? Yeah. And we have the Mahon Malusa. So this kind of cheese is a, there's like after spicy taste. Because okay. this cheese is wrapped with a paprika and olive oil. Okay, nice. And we have this Midnight Moon. It's a rich and buttery with a caramel sweetness. Oh, really? And it's called Midnight because this one, this is covered with a wax black. Okay. Oh, wow. We have the Point Reyes blue cheese. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Very nice. Look how pretty it is. It looks great. And then you just leave the cart here. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh it's gorgeous. Oh, Thank you. Wow. We're going the bread for you. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. 
And yours is so pretty. Yeah. They get the crema, the dried fruit bread. Okay. Nice, yes, good. Please. And we have uh, lavash. I yeah, love lavash. Sesame seeds and poppy seeds. Mm -hmm. And the breadsticks. Very nice. Thank nice. you. Bon appetit. Thank you. I have a whole beautiful selection Goodness. here. Wow. Goodness gracious. Where am I going to put it? <laughs> Look at yours. I know. Bring that over here. Let me see it. Wow. It's so pretty. Break into that cheesecake. <clears throat> Well, it's hot and lovely. So she said, oh, oh. look at that. It's almost like a, it's become like a... Puff cake. Yeah. Wow, that is good. That is good. Rich? <laughs> yep. Gosh, that cheesecake. Like it, it's a little bit salty. Yeah. You know, it's got a really good cheesecake flavor to it oh, nice. and the pastry is very light um, and then you, you get the blend of all the other flavors the Nutella and the uh, Dulce de Leche yeah. flavors all combining oh, very really sweet rich. very rich is that that's not ice cream good. right it's just a cream right no it's not ice cream yeah okay it's just the way it was had a stiffness to it that I wasn't expecting it's like a whipped cream yeah it's like okay. a some sort of whipped cream. Okay. I'll try to see if I can pull what she said off the thing. Yeah. But wow. That okay. was, that was good fight. Okay. Now for my beautiful plate over here. I mean, what is there to say about it? It's going to be great. Yeah. It's a cheese plate. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong. But it is really lovely. Day one wrapped up with a fantastic party down on the fifth level. This did not disappoint. We ate so many wonderful things today, had such a great time. So far, we are hooked, guys. But t come back, join us for some of our upcoming videos where we're going to take you to try out some of the other specialty dining, show you some of the shows, all of the great adventures that we had on our trip here on Utopia of the Seas. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like. And in the comment section, comment, sail away, and so that we know that you are here to the very end. And with that, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so, so much. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time.